Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel Let's Slice Data with Saurabh. Uh, today I am here to help you for Power BI. It is a data visualization tool and if you are going to give any interview on that, there will be definitely few questions. Everybody knows how to connect MS Excel with Power BI. It's a very simple thing. I have already created one video on that. Please go and watch that. But after that, there are several things which they might ask you in an interview. And uh, you have to know them if you are going for a certain uh, interview of Power BI or data visualization. What is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI service? What is a workspace? What kind of various roles are there? How can you share uh, data uh, you know, with other users? So all these things I'm going to cover today. So please be ready for that. So... Today, I'm going to cover all these things for you. So please, please, please uh, be there till end and try to learn everything. And I will start in a very simple way, very, uh, you know, straightforward way that you can learn it. Um, in, a, in a means like I, I am here to make the things simpler for you. Whatever I have learned in a hard way, I just want to make it simple for you so that you can learn it and uh, present it in front of the customers or for, present in front of the client or team members and become a pro there. Okay. So let's start Power BI, let's slice data with Saurabh. So this is the first slide which I want to discuss. Basically, uh, see everybody knows how to create a particular report in Power BI desktop. But if I ask you that what is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI uh, Power BI report and Power BI dashboard? So might be there are few people who do not know about it. So for them only I have uh, created this slide so that they can understand easily that what is the difference between Power BI report and Power BI desktop. So purpose of Power BI report is to do the in-depth analysis, but the dashboard is only for the high level overview. Structure is like multiple pages there uh, in the Power BI report. But in Power BI dashboard, you have only a single page. Interactivity might be slices, dices, filters. Everything is there in the Power BI report for the multiple pages. But in Power BI dashboard, it is only for, uh, it is very low interactivity basically. So visualizations, if you talk about the visualizations, the, the visualizations in Power BI report are detailed and specific. But in Power BI dashboard, definitely they are very summarized and concise. And who is the user of these Power BI report and Power BI dashboard? So Power BI report is basically for the data analyst and the power users. You can say the people who are playing with the data, who are creating the reports, they have to do a lot of analysis on that. In-depth analysis is needed. And the Power BI dashboard is for the executives and managers. They just want to see the summarized and the concise view there. So guys, I know it is a very simple thing. Most of you might know that, but uh, Power BI report and Power BI dashboard, we all need to know that what is the basic difference there. Then I will talk about <clears throat> Power BI. So uh, as you all know that Power BI is a very powerful business analytical tool offered by Microsoft for data visualization. It consists two primary components. One is Power BI desktop and Power BI service. Guys, I'm, whatever I'm talking about today is very important and it will help you to clear your interviews. So please be, um, uh, you know, focused on this particular topic. It is going to help you and I'm here just to help you guys. So Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service. Understanding the key difference between these two is crucial for effectively leveraging Power BI for data analysis and visualization. Everybody knows how to connect Excel. There are so many databases which you can connect, but at least start using it by connecting the CSV. Power BI is a free tool. You can utilize that. <clears throat> then this is the very common question they are going to ask you that what is the basic difference between the Power BI desktop and Power BI service? So Power BI desktop is installed on your local machine. It's a local application or local uh, basically application. Data modeling and visualization used for creating data models, transforming data and designing interactive visualizations. Offline capabilities allows you to work offline and then sync uh, changes when you are back online. So Power BI Desktop is a very powerful tool which you can use it in the offline for mode as well. Advanced features are there like they can support advanced features like DAX calculation. What is DAX? Data expressions, uh, data analysis, expressions, uh, queries, basically tax queries, which we used to call them. 
advanced features like DAX calculation, R integration, Python integration, everything you can do in Power BI desktop. But now when you talk about Power BI service, see, this is the basic interview question. So they will ask you that what is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI service? Then you have to tell in Power BI service, it is a cloud-based platform hosted on Microsoft cloud infrastructure. Microsoft, you know that Azure is their cloud infrastructure. Then the report sharing and collaboration. So in desktop, you cannot share the report. So remember this thing, Power BI service is used to share the report and for collaboration, you can uh, give the access of report to multiple, multiple people used for sharing reports, dashboards uh, and insights with other within your organization or externally also you can share. You have to give their email ID and everything. So in Power BI service, you can share that particular report. Mobile access provides mobile access to reports and dashboards through mobile apps. So you can uh, understand this thing that Power BI service, you can use it in a browser thing basically. So real-time data can connect to the real-time data sources and update visualization in real time. So Power BI desktop is just for your desktop and you cannot share the reports there. Power BI service, you can share the reports uh, using workspaces, which I can discuss in the next slide. <clears throat> so these are the features. Basically, I just put it in a summarized way. Location, what is the location of Power BI desktop? It is in your local machine and in the Power BI service, it is the cloud-based. Primary function, data modeling, transformation, and visualization. Here it is report sharing, collaboration, and consumption so that it can be shared with so many people within the organization. So Power BI service can help you there. Offline capabilities, Power BI desktop is having that. And once you come online, it can be synced there, but in Power BI service, it is not there. Advanced feature, you can use in Power BI desktop, not in Power BI service. Real-time data, you can use in both of them. And mobile access, you can use that in Power BI service, not in Power BI desktop. So uh, guys, till now we have discussed what is Power BI report and Power BI desktop. Then we have discussed what is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI service. See guys, this is uh, these are all interview questions. They are going to ask you that which service, uh, what, how can you share a report in Power BI? So you have to say them that, okay, I will use Power BI service for report sharing, collaboration and consumption. Okay, <clears throat> so features of Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. So this is also important. Why I am saying that? that uh, uh, because you know um, this is important why because uh, what is the meaning of power bi pro and power bi premium see this is the very simple question they are going to ask you and you have to answer it if you do not answer it then you are gone and trust me what i am saying it it is important when you go for any interview they will ask you that what is the difference between power bi desktop power bi service power bi dashboard power bi uh, uh, report and then this Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium capacity. So capacity, what is the meaning of capacity? So capacity is a dedicated set of resources which are allocated there. So Power BI Pro, they will give you per user and the performance is limited. Data set size is smaller. You can use this for a smaller data set. Real-time data is like limited. Advanced analytics is limited. Paginated report, what is the meaning of paginated report? Power BI paginated reports are designed to print basically. So when you want to print that particular report, which is not supported here, but in Power BI premium capacity, you have to purchase it from Microsoft. It is a fabric capacity, which you have to pay as you go. So let's say you want to use only eight cores, V8, V cores. So then you have to pay for that. And for whatever period you will use it, you have to pay that. So that is the premium capacity you can use to ask for the dedicated resource. Performance definitely enhanced because it's a paid capacity and you can do much uh, larger data sets and it's a real time supported and advanced analytics you can do there. But in Power BI Pro, you cannot do that. It's a per user thing. But in Power BI Premium, it's a capacity base and you can purchase it from Microsoft. So these two are the basic difference and paginated reports are supported in Power BI Premium capacity. So Pro and Premium also is a very uh, general question in Power BI which they are going to ask you. So next one is like Power BI workspaces. Okay, so we understood about the capacity, premium capacity. We understand about the Power BI dashboard and reports. We understand about the Power BI, uh, you know, des de desktop and the Power BI service. Now let's understand about the workspace. That is also one of the important thing they are going to ask you when you're going for an interview. For Power BI for sure, for data visualization, you have to understand what is the Power BI workspace and how it is helping you in sharing the reports and everything. 
So Power BI workspaces are a collaborative spaces where you can create, share, share and manage your Power BI content. Think of them as virtual containers that hold your dashboard, reports, data sets and data flow. So basically virtual containers which can hold all these things and through that workspace you can share it with your friends, family, company, anyone. Whatever dashboards you will create, you can share it with anyone in, in the entire world by using these workspaces. What are the key benefits of the workspaces? It's a collaboration. Workspace enables seamless collaboration among team members. Multiple users can work together on the same content, share insights and provide feedback. So collaboration. Organization, you can organize your content to different workspaces based on the project teams or business functions. This helps you keep your Power BI environment clean and organized. So let's say I am working on the development report only for oil and gas production. Someone else is working for, um, you know, well header data, some other is working on well mastered. So we can create separate workspaces for that. Security and access control workspace allows you to control who can access and edit your content. You can assign different roles to users such as viewer, member, contributor and admin. I will explain all these roles. What is the meaning of these roles to ensure data security and privacy because data privacy is very important thing. Data security is very important thing. App creation and distribution workspaces are found foundation for creating and distributing Power BI apps. So Power BI workspace, you understand that, okay, it's just a container, virtual container. And using this, you can create Power BI apps. You can bundle multiple reports and dashboards into an app, share it with, with the wider audience. Let's say in the entire organization, you want to share it with that. So you can do that. Okay. How many types of workspaces are there? So number one, there is a personal workspace. So personal workspace where you can create and manage your own content. It's a great place to experiment, to learn Power BI. So this is a personal workspace. Then the premium workspace. These workspaces are hosted on Power BI premium capacity. Premium capacity, I've already informed you that you have to purchase it from the Microsoft. Premium capacity is a dedicated set of resources that you can purchase from Microsoft to power your Power BI environment. Offering advances features like large data set, real-time data and more. See, the entire... A uh, fight is between larger data set, real time data set and sharing. If you do not need that, use Power BI desktop and be uh, comfortable and enjoy. But if you want to use that, that okay, how can I utilize it for the larger data sets? Then you have to come to the uh, Power BI premium capacity. Then you have to come to the workspace, Power BI apps, and then uh, uh, basically uh, all these things, Power BI uh, service. Shared workspaces means these workspaces are shared among the multiple users and are ideal, ideal for the team collaboration. Let's say you have a team, you can just use the shared workspace there. I told you about the workspace roles. So what are the roles basically there? Admin. This is the PL300 question. I'm telling you definitely you will get one out of it. Admin is like update and delete the workspace. So the workspace which you have created and if you have assigned the role to a person of an admin, he can update or delete that particular workspace, add or remove people, including other admins. So that is the job of an admin in the workspace. Member, add members or others with lower permission. So the admin can add or remove anyone. Other admins also delete the workspace as, as workspace as well, but the members can add other members with lower permissions, publish and publish and change permission for an app. So uh, when you publish an app, it will go to some other users and some other people can see that. You can publish, unpublish, change permission. These are the members can do. Then the contributor, create, edit, and delete content such as report in the workspace. So let's say somebody is a contributor, what all he can do? He can create, edit, delete content such as reports in the workspace, publish reports in the workspace. And the viewer, viewer is like view and interact with the item system, uh, with an item, read the data that's stored in the workspace as well as the workspace data flows. Means he cannot do anything in that. So he's just a viewer. Contributor is can edit, delete content. A uh, member can add other members, but admin can delete uh, or the workspace itself and uh, can add or remove people, including other admins. So these are the four roles basically in the workspace uh, type. So let me just reiterate whatever we have learned. We have learned first thing, what is the difference between Power BI report and Power BI dashboard? So remember this thing, if you want to just create a uh, Power BI dashboard, and which is only for the executive and manager. So this is the basic difference between these two. Then Power BI, Power BI, I told you about uh, Power BI desktop and Power BI service. So what is the difference between Power BI desktop and Power BI service? Power BI desktop is just for, you know, individual users and everything. But Power BI service is to share that particular report. Even though you can create a lot of reports in Power BI desktop, but you cannot share it. For sharing, you need a Power BI service. 
and for power bi service you want to share you need a premium capacity or pro capacity at least so that you can share it pro capacity i already told you for smaller limited things but for premium capacity is a dedicated set of resources which you need to purchase from microsoft see guys whatever i'm telling here it's it's going to be an interview question for power bi so please be prepared paginated report i already covered power bi workspace so which i told you it's a virtual containers that holds your dashboard reports data sets and data flows which you can share it with your other users and there are three kind of workspaces my workspace which you can use it for individual premium workspace and then the shared workspace and there are four kind of roles which i have covered admin member contributor and viewer in the workspace so guys i hope uh, you understand few things from it i have covered very key topics this is this is going to be your power bi uh, pl300 questions as well so <clears throat> please uh, share it with your friends and uh, keep learning uh, as i said always that it is important thank you very much for watching have a great day bye for now